United favorite to sign Enzo Fernandez. Check the exclamation. Check the punctuation mark at the end of the story. It's a question mark and it's not only one, it's two. Meaning that we are asking a question because stories are indicating that United are favorite to sign Enzo Fernandez. But I come in and pose a question that really, really... I'm going to break it down in my own understanding and I'll be waiting for your opinions into the comment section below. Then we're going to talk about the return of the butcher of Manchester, Licha, Lisandro Martinez. He has trained with Manchester United today and we're going to let you know what he forwent to return to Manchester to see to it that he resumes his career after winning the world cup welcome to united matters channel how are you guys and where you're watching us from rock and david is my name and smash the like button comment and share and if you're only watching us for the very first time lower right bottom corner that's the place to be smash the black button after smashing it hit the notification bell that will never get notified every time i upload a video onto this channel now enzo fernandez is one of those players that united had scouted under Raf Ragnick and Raf Ragnick recommended United to sign this player in the January of this year and his his buyout clause was 25 million euros from from is it River Plate that is Argentina but United said no way we are going to give you any player because Raf Ragnick you are just an interim why spend money on a player that the next manager might not want but all of the players that he pointed at are at teams that almost play in the same way like Eric Ten Hag. Mikhaili is at PSG. Alves. Julian Alves at Man City. Enzo Fernandez at Benfica playing very well. There is this other Red Bull midfielder. Albi Leipzig. The midfielder that's going to Bayern Munich. And lastly, and lastly is Zakaria. He's also doing great. Look at Ekanji at Man City. So these players would have costed United just 40 million pounds, 40 or 50 million pounds to bring them at Manchester United in the January transfer window. But obviously, we didn't go in for them and we are suffering now. We've been told by Matteo Moreto, that is Matteo Moreto coming in from Italy. He's one of the upcoming tier one journalists because he's really having his tabs on the agents and they give him valid information and the information is really concrete so brazilian journalist bruno andrade had given Manchester united as favorites for enzo fernandez and i confirm it after numerous checks chelsea is also in the fight so he's confirming to us that united are favorites to sign enzo fernandez but i wouldn't turn this down i wouldn't pour cold water onto this story to freeze totally but i ask myself how can a club that cannot sign a player who is most wanted by the manager and they've been chasing him since the summer for 37 million pounds, that is Cody Gapko, and then go in for a player who is going to cost them 130 million euros? That is not logical. Logic, when you put in logic, that can't happen. Because if United had to make a statement of signing a player that is really great and is cheaper, they would have gone ahead to go on and do that to make a statement that we can go in for Enzo Fernandez. But the fact is, I think I see this as a hoax. I'm sorry to say, but I see this as a hoax as the agent is trying to rectify the value of his player that every good team is really interested in Enzo Fernandez. That's why that's what I'm really regarding this too, because I see no way the Glazers can cough 130 million, pound, million euros to go on and buy a player called Enzo Fernandez. He fits the system of Eric Ten Hag. I've told you again and again that if you are to put Enzo Fernandez in the same queue with Judy Bellingham, I choose Enzo Fernandez because he offers a lot in the midfield. He plays in every position of the central midfield. He can play as a central defense midfielder. He can play in the double pivot as a box-to-box -box midfielder. He can play as a central attacking midfielder and he creates chances. You get? That is Enzo Fernandez for you. He's the next big thing in the game of football. He showed it at the World Cup. That's why he was named the young, the young player at the World Cup to win the Golden Ball at the World Cup. So it shows you how good this player is. This player is really special and was spotted by Raf Ragnick. And if, I, uh, if I'm the new owners of United, one of the people I should bring back at Manchester United is Raf Ragnick because look at all the players Raf Ragnick had scouted at Manchester United. They are all doing well. 
you get he first scouted he first scouted let me first rb leipzig there is all right i've gotten the name he first scouted conrad Leimer, and conrad Leimer was available for just 25 million euros they didn't get him he went ahead to talk about enzo fernandez 25 million euros from liver plate united said no he talked about julian alves who's buyout clause was 18 million euros if at all he was to go in the january of this year and if at all he reached the summer if, if at all he reached last summer it would have been activated to 30 million euros then he scouted Mikaeli is now at psg he scouted a kanji a kanji is now playing for man city and um there are five players and dennis zakaria that went for is it three million euros from Borussia Mönchengladbach to Juventus and now Juventus loaned him to Chelsea and they are willing to sell him. So it shows you how this guy was good. And if I'm a new owner with all those players that he scouted, we needed him back. And if I'm a new owner, I bring Ralph Ragnick back at Manchester United because he knows how to build a team that is going to go ahead and really win trophies. Look at all those players. They wouldn't cost United 100 million pounds. The amount of money they used to sign all 100 million euros the amount of money they used to sign anthony would have would have blustered the squad of manchester united by five players a kanji in defense mikieli right back <laughs> conrad Leimer, midfield julian alves center forward enzo fernandez central defensive midfielder you see if at all they might bring like two or three at a cost of like 40 million euros in January of this year, trust me, we would have gone ahead to be in the Champions League this season. So I don't see the Glazers really spending this money. I'm sorry to say this, but I don't see them spending this money. I'm 100% sure about it. If they cannot bring in Cody Gapko, I don't see them doing this. I'm waiting for the surprise from them because they are full of surprises. You never know. But I don't see this deal coming in through at Manchester United. And then... Nico Kinsella, you know him very well. He's Niza Kinsella. He's a Chelsea correspondent for the Standard Sport. He has gone ahead to let us know that Chelsea have communicated their willingness to pay Enzo Fernandez's 105 million pound already is close. That is close to 120 million euros. They are hoping to steal a match on rivals with Manchester United and Liverpool keen on signing midfielders next summer. Now, this one is hitting about next summer, but the story that is really everywhere is that Enzo Fernandez is wanted out of Benfica by Manchester United and by Manchester United and Liverpool this January transfer window because they are willing to go ahead and really pay 130 million euros and it's not it's not going to be negotiable it's a fixed price if at all you want him you have to go on and pay that amount of money that's what Benfica is doing and if at all Benfica happens to go on and really get that deal done they would have put themselves in a picture of really having gotten a lot of money, having gotten close to 80 million euros from Dewey Nunes as he crossed from Benfica to Liverpool. Then, if they are to sell Enzo Fernandez 130 million euros, that is close to 210 million euros in a space of six months. What a good year for them and the financial to them to go on and bluster. And obviously, they have lots of other players that are really doing great at the club that very many people are really going to go on and send. Because when you look at them playing the Champions League, they really looked a more decent side that everyone would go on and admire. So, Chelsea is into the competition. Liverpool is into the competition. And who is winning the battle? But I don't see United win a race where there are other teams. Because, like, which race have we ever won when there is really an ideal competitor? For Harry Maguire, there was no competition. Man City wanted him, but they couldn't pay 80 million pounds because they thought he was overvalued. And United went in for the player because... No person was competing with United. For Anwan Bisaka, 50 million pounds, no one was competing with them. And my worry is we pay a lot of money when we have no competitor. Look at look at uh Anthony. I believe Anthony is 50 million pounds player, but we paid 85, 35 more. For Lisandro Martinez, for me it's okay. It's okay. I believe he's even worth 50 million pounds with what he's doing in the field of play. Casimiro, I believe for the speciality in that position that we've been lacking for so long however much we paid 70 million pounds but who cares now because he is really the best player at Manchester united right now 
Harry Maguire, whom we paid 80, has been the worst player ever since he came in at Manchester United. But for Casemiro, 70 million pounds well spent. And if at all Anthony hits the ground running and really finds his, his foot, that will be great for him. This is applies to Sancho. So I believe that United are really a team that has always proven timid each and every time they have a competitor in the deal. So if Liverpool has gained interest as confirmed by Fabrizio Romano that Liverpool has gone ahead to hold talks with Benfica over Enzo Fernandez, then they are going to go ahead and really take this player again from us because Liverpool is a team that can be linked to a player at lunchtime and in the evening, the deal is done and dusted. That's how they do business because they're having a very good football structure built around their manager. So I believe we are really in a hoax. That's a hoax and I cannot put my hopes on Enzo Fernandez. If I told you had signed, if I told you had signed um, Cody Gabko, I would have said, all right, they are willing to go on and spend. But the fact is they're not willing to spend. They're not willing to spend. Even Yao Felix, they are saying they cannot spend 16 million pounds on a player for six months. Yet, in the next one or two months, they're going to be out. So it shows you the incompetency of the Glazers. And let's leave that at that. But your reaction to that story are welcome in the comment section below. Let's talk about La Licha or the Butcher of Manchester. Lisandro Martinez has returned to Manchester after celebrating his World Cup with Argentina. And that is Simon Jones of Male Sport. Obviously, as I told you when I was doing the match preview of a team of a team of United versus Nottingham, I think I did it on was it, was it Sunday? I did it on Monday. I told you that on Monday, Lisandro Martinez was traveling from Argentina to join Manchester United. That's it. So he arrived, and obviously a reason has been given to us why he'd never really played, that he arrived, but the jet lag couldn't allow him to go ahead and really play a part into the game of Nottingham that we played yesterday and won by three goals to nil. But he's available for the game of for the game of Lisandro, for the game of Wolves. And we've been told by Simon Jones, Lisandro Martinez is hoping to be in contention to play Wolves this weekend. Obviously, he's going to start with Rafael Verani. That is the ideal central defense partnership of Eric Ten Hag that he really trusts to go on and really keep him clean sheets. However much he was away, we happened to keep a clean sheet and we won. Verani played some 70 minutes and was taken off the field of play. Then Harry Maguire came in through and played throughout. The remaining games, but I believe the remaining minutes, but I believe it's going to be Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Verani in the game of Wolverhampton Wanderers. And for that, we will be doing the match preview, I think, tomorrow. Because we are playing on Saturday. I always want to do these match previews two days to the game. That's how I want to go on and really do them. Now, Lisandro Martinez was supposed to attend a wedding of Nicolas Taglifico, his former team met at Ajax, but he showed how much he loves his job. Now, we've been told by Mail Sport, that is Simon Jones, that Lisandro Martinez had been invited to stay in Argentina for the wedding of close friend Nicolas Taglifico, but returned to England to resume duties with Man United instead. So it shows you how much he's focused. He wants this bad. You know, I like players like him. Look at Rafael Verani. Yesterday, He's the one who told the manager, please, however much I've trained one day with the club, I want the game. Get me the game. Get me the game of Nottingham. Get me into that stadium. Because he knew that we are short of central defenders. Harry Maguire was not full fit to play 90 minutes. Then Linderoff contracted a virus that is going through the United team. So that showed you how bad it was that Luxor even played at left back. So if at all, if at all Verani never made never told the manager, please I want to play. Casimiro and Casimiro and uh, Casimiro and uh, Luxor would have played in the central defense. Then Ericsson would have played with with um, with the Danny Van Bink in the double pivot because even or Ericsson and Freddie because even uh, Scott McTominay is also having a virus. So let's wait and see how everything is going to go on. But that virus looks deadly because it had even costed France the 
semi-final and obviously the final it looked like it's one of the factors that really going to hate to affect them into that game so let me show you a little bit of licha that is Lisandro martinez training at carrington today that is lisandro martinez training with manchester united ahead of the game of wolves so he's back obviously training with manchester united and we can't wait to see him into the starting 11 of united and the match reaction sorry the match preview is going to be up tomorrow so lisandro martinez and verani are in contention to start against wolverhampton wanderers a team that has a new manager known as lepotogui not so so guys thank you very much for watching in through rock and david is my name united matters channel is the youtube channel so reactions are welcome to every story we've talked about and don't forget to hit the black button the hard button subscribe after smashing it hit the notification bell that will enable you get notified every time i upload a video onto this channel i sign out for now see you later one more video left and i'm going to go on and really bring it to you live i'm out